What's happening guys? Lankin here and welcome back to another episode of Bleak Faith Forsaken. So we are going to be starting right here in the Rain District Center. From there is that we are actually going to be reaching out to the next section. First of all, you guys want to come here and utilize this elevator. From this elevator is that we are going to be proceeding to the next area. Just wait in a second for that to come down. Once it's down, go up. This is going to connect to where the... If you guys remember, this is literally connecting this, uh, to where the upper section of the sewers was when we were, were going all the way to the launch. Now, the only downside of this area is that you have those red knights. So if you guys are still afraid of them, then be careful because they are, as always, horrible. There is going to be a couple of them waiting for us. Uh, that's perfectly fine. We can take care of them. Make sure that you are ready, though. So that way you don't actually have to like take care of them. Just, just make sure that you're ready because these guys, are, as always, they know how to pack a punch. Should be another one in here. Should be perfectly fine. We are going to be going up the stairs. Where is the boy? Hello? Oh, there he is. Look at him waiting for us. Hello there. There you go. Now that he's dead, we can actually go up the stairs and from up the stairs is where we're actually going to do the remaining of our research or our adventure. Making sure that there's nothing that we forget. Get this item over here. Amulet of health increases your health by plus 50. Pretty neat if you need it. If you're a person that didn't invest in constitution at all. However, I do believe that in this game, constitution should be like around 20. Enough for you to have between 900 and 1,000 health. And then once you have 900 to 1,000 health, the rest of the game becomes pretty simpler. There is a guy standing in there, so be careful with it. Grab the next item. Another essence. Essences are pretty cool. Because that way you can increase your stats. That's pretty much it. I'm not sure, or I don't remember, if there's going to be any red knights in this area, if I gotta be honest with you guys. But our goal is to go down. We gotta go down as much as we can. Keep walking. There will be a couple of enemies right here that they actually do flux damage. So as always, her weapon is not the best against flux damage. I don't see them, so maybe they disappear because of the red knights. But yeah, if you if the red knights are not around, then you guys will probably encounter them. It's kind of strange because in my previous playthrough, there were no red knights. There you go. That's the that's 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 my friend. Let's go. Just kill them pretty quickly. Don't let them hit you. Don't let them kill you, better said. Nice. That was a cool crit. And then after grabbing that, be careful with this boy. There is an item that we haven't grabbed. I think we can grab him from this end. Shouldn't be too difficult, can we? Yep. Ring of the Colossus, which is going to increase your constitution by 10%. So... Not only that, it was going to give you two constitution and then plus 10% constitution. So if you guys are interested on that, that's great. I prefer the ring of the giant, which is strength instead. I believe we cannot. There is enemies nearby. That's oh, hello there. It's you. Not anymore. I was wondering who wasn't allowing me to put anything. So let's verify it. Yeah, the Ring of the Giant is the one that gives you strength. Colossus is constitution and 10% constitution. So if you are a paladin, like super chunky boy, that could be your thing. Now here we are going to go to get this section up above. There's going to be a regular enemy over here. Ignore him. Destroy him. Grab whatever he has to give you. And pull the lever. That level is really tricky because you might be wondering what the heck did that trigger? Well, that's where we're going to be going up next. First off, take down the ladder. Verify that you didn't miss any items. Nope, we didn't miss any. And then let's go down. Forget about the launch. By the way, the developers had an update. Now you can go faster through the ladder. As you guys remember that I was complaining about that at first. Not anymore. You guys can go faster. We have to go all the way back. So just to start your way. Keep walking. A lot of dead enemies that we're going to find along the way. And to, 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 right here. Instead of going down, you're going to be going to the left. 
There is an item and there is a strong knight over there. We don't normally care about those strong knights. Where are you? Yep. We have activated the berserker power, which makes us pretty strong. Well, I mean, whenever we get hit. But now that we're going up, this door is open, which is great. This door right here is the one that you wanted to activate. I'm not sure if we went here when we went to the launch. Uh, maybe you guys did see, maybe you guys didn't. I am not sure. But if you guys didn't, now you guys know what it is. Make sure that you didn't miss anything and let's go up. Now, the asylum is a pretty long section. So I'm not sure if this is going to be a one or two episode type of thingy. But something that is for real. is that we are going to be trying to do our best to show as much as we can. There's no enemies anymore. And now we got to go up. And we are going to start encountering what is probably one of the creepiest enemies in the game. Look at that thing. Now, they look intimidating. They're honestly not that strong. Yep, that's just pretty ugly. As long as you guys have your things, everything is fine. Now we can get some stat fragments, which honestly, I don't even remember what is that. We can check it out. If you see the crafting. Yeah, a stat is probably some of this. Probably the Jigger concoctions or something like that. We don't have any medium restorative items in our other account we do. There was probably an enemy that we missed that was supposed to give it. There should be something in here, yes? Oh yeah, this thing. It's always not a problem. You can get everything and you can go around. Is there something following me? Nah. Just showing you guys this whole area. Pretty disgusting. Nothing too crazy. And from here we gotta go up. Now, there is a way for you to go from this section to the... to Uranopolis. Up. I don't remember quite well how to get there and I wouldn't suggest you try to go to Aranopolis from the asylum. If you try to do that, unless you are like MK5, it's it's just not suggested and you're probably not gonna be MK5. Or you have pretty good moves on your hands, cause yeah, pretty pretty strong enemies that you guys can find. Uh pull this lever. Just in case, let's make sure that we set our homunculi. This little friend. Pretty good friend of ours. And then wait for the elevator, if it ever comes. There you go. Let's go down. Okay, let's grab... Oh my god! Hello, hello, no, no, no! Stay away, stay away! Ooh, I forgot about that thing! I totally forgot. That that thing is... Those things right here are always scary. Stay away from me. Okay, we got whatever was in there, the tainted sludge. And then, from here, we're just gonna be trying to grab any items that we, we might find. Just for you guys. Fucking around, we're probably gonna have to go back. No, 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 Oh my god. This is why we set up the homunculus. And here we are. This piece of shit killed me before. Just die. There you go. Now he's dead. And that's my body. One more time. They really tricked me. They really tricked me into believing that's a medium restorative pack. I knew that I was going to find it eventually. I knew it. Careful with that thing that is flying. He's not your friend. You guys know it. And then there's a guy over there. Oh, okay. Can you stop moving? Oh, no, no! Hello! Wow! I thought I was gonna die for a second. Ooh, that was scary. Couple of enemies here and there. 
I wish I had an ability so I can prevent stagger. I think you can. There are some caves and things like that that prevents you from getting staggered. Pretty, pretty neat. Our crits do a lot of damage. 4,000 damage is not something to, to mess around with, honestly speaking. I can promise you guys, you guys will be able to absolutely annihilate anything. And from here, you guys remember, that's our homunculi. And now we... Well, you can just go around and touch him again. So he kind of like become your friend one more time. And then once you have touched that homunculus again, then yeah, it's time for us to go this area. This route. Wait, did we come the right path? Yeah, no, it's over. Wait. Hello? It's right here. Let's go. There are multiple paths. So, well, not multiple paths, but there's so many holes that I kind of get confused all the time. Kill that thing. Again. They look scary, but as long as you have your stats under control, then everything is good. The first time that I saw it, I was like, what the fuck is that? But yeah, once you get the hang of it, nah. You shouldn't worry about them. They are they are not a challenge. We gotta go up that stairs. Those stairs. Grab whatever is in here. And yeah, this, this place right here, you cannot open it, so... We're getting a lot of essences, which is absolutely amazing. That pretty much means that if we ever have the opportunity to upgrade our stuff, we are going to be so thick. To be fair, we are almost reaching at the point where our other character is located, so it shouldn't be a problem. Why did I do this? Did I make a mistake? Yeah, I did make a mistake. That's fine. Yeah, kill him. We do do a lot of damage, so... Those guys, those guys don't really stand a chance. Now, I believe that they're showing up more often because maybe because we're MK5. The last time that I actually came here, I was only MK3. And I honestly wouldn't suggest you coming here MK3 unless you really want like a super challenge in the whole area. Me personally, I, I like going smoothly. I like killing stuff. I don't like getting killed. So... These enemies are easy. They only have like 250 health, so you don't have to actually worry about them. The ones that you have to worry as always are the Red Knights. I got scared by them the first time that I saw them, honestly. And this whole area, the Asylum, is the first place where I saw the Red Knights. Look at that thing, just waiting for me there in the background. Perfectly fine. You guys know how it is. Hit him in the butthole. That's okay. Focus on him. Goodbye. They have like a thousand health, so it's nothing too crazy. Just hit him a couple of times. You'll get used to it. They're not hard. Uh, give me the item. Ability Splinter. There should be a guy hiding to the left. By the way, for some of you guys that might be playing with a mouse and keyboard, heavy attacks might be not in your settings so make sure that you set it up in my case i was wondering why my heavy attacks were not working is because i hadn't had it set it up so now that i have now i have it set it up i have set it up then now i can actually do a little bit more this is the first time in the game that you see that you're pulling doors up instead of using levers to open them showing that the asylum hasn't been touched in a while and well there you go that's our homunculi We could go down this path. The, if you go down this path, you are going to find a shortcut. Honestly speaking, it's not a crazy short, shortcut. That, it's not a shortcut, actually. It's just connecting to a different area. At this point, you don't really need to get connected in there. All you care about is defeating whatever. That's a shortcut that we're going to be getting later on. And as you guys can see, they know that she doing some work. Really heavy lifting, really good work. All right, let's walk around. There should be some guys in here. And as long as they die in one hit, well, we are not gonna complain. Give me whatever it's in here. What do we get? Piercing arrows and Conrad's Warlock. So that's something that was added for the sake of lore 
there are some logs and things like that that were added to the game again pretty pretty neat pretty nice it kind of allows you to understand better what's going on with this whole game and you guys can see our armor is so thick that the only thing that can actually do something to us is well uh, the 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 vermilion knights and of course bosses bosses can 100 percent still kill us this point just go down and right now we're gonna have a full-on exploration of the whole section it's gonna be pretty nice this whole asylum is pretty messed up enemies are pretty strong you don't really want to mess up with them look at that boy over there waiting for us but there is some goodies so let's get it an upgrade splinter and some glow bug nothing that truly matters if i gotta be honest but hey we get them nonetheless and then let's go this way and again as long as they keep showing up they will die give me this open this door short it right there you guys know if i gotta be honest with you guys i didn't even trigger this shortcut the first time i totally missed it but that's straight to the entrance it's a it's an okay one it's it's nothing too impressive and then over here you find the another handler cycle the number three if you guys didn't get the one by the i believe it was in the desert by the machinarium grab items and here we should be finding our nemesis there you go look at that guy coming this way give me your stuff thank you very much for that upgrade splinter not that we need it but hey i'll take it that guy this this was the first time that i actually encountered that guy he saw me and he absolutely destroyed me like no compassion no 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 he was like die die he killed me like five times in here first time that i encountered them really horrible enemy this whole area is gonna have a couple of the oh that invisible guy didn't see him and look at this do you remember that stuff oh, come on nope get away from me goodbye and then we have this guy uh you wanna you wanna do a there you go i won not like he didn't hit me like 20 times before i was able to hit him but hey we still won grab this grab that now here we trigger this shortcut really important connects you to the beginning of the game and that shortcut is extremely important because it connects to a later section now over here there shouldn't be anything if I remember correctly let's see around yep we cannot open that that's 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 something for later we're gonna be going there right now and because this episode we're gonna be tackling the asylum it's not so long if you're playing this whole section for the first time and you are a little bit unprepared you will have a hard time i will promise you guys that much the first time that i played this took me around i believe it was hour and a half to be able to do everything Um, sir, if you are not gonna do anything, you should take a break. You shouldn't be slacking off on the job. Then we go to the upper section. Let's miss every single attack. And oh my god. I think I think this section right here is Let's see if we find what we were looking for. So grab this, grab that. If I'm not mistaken, you gotta jump in there. That's a, that's actually a. Yeah. Yep. There you go. This is actually something new that they added. You can actually come here. Be careful with this parkour. Run around. If you don't die, that would be fantastic. And boom! Now that we're in the top section, we are gonna find one of the NPCs. The the hidden NPCs of the game. Careful of that. You don't wanna die. Talk to him. Hmm. What is it, sir? Visitor Commander Alexius. A visitor to a plague, a past, 
a rare occurrence. Ah, the administration. Yes, that much is now obvious. Always a pervasive need for the world to make sense. But with each passing moment I find beyond the structure is always one step beyond it. Beyond comprehension. I wonder what tales you'd share, if only you could speak. Traversing every crevice and ruin and foot. My, my, the secrets you hold. And what happens to the ones you leave behind? Do you ever think of them? It sounds like a treacherous life. You must not know much kindness. And how could you? I imagine you've experienced pain and death uncountable times. It is, after all, reflected in your demeanor. Maybe this can make a small change. You know, I myself am not a stranger to challenges. The struggle between absolute power and perfect order is no longer easy to balance. I find myself giving it my all without seeing much in return. The Serdars now complicate things. Their sacrifices were too great for a wavering empire. Yet rebelling against everything makes life lose its purpose. The administration's vision of order is sterile, however perfect, yes. But like marble, its beauty frozen permanently in the rhythm of death. In his few moments of peace, Yaroslav would probably explain it better than I. Then again, his word was always as sharp as his saber. We both have work to do. Until we meet again. And that's pretty much it with this character. Pretty cool guy, and he gives you... Well, that... <laughs> he gives you a, a plus two diamond. Or crystal. Those plus two crystals, they are really rare. Okay, there is only two in the game. That's one of them. And I honestly don't remember right now where the other one is. But that character right there for you guys to see. Pretty nice. It reflects how this whole world looks like. And look where we at. We are back. And this is why that shortcut was important. Because now we can just go around. And not worry about anything. We should have triggered the homunculi. I honestly don't think that the boss is going to kill me. And yes, this station has a boss. But... If the homunculus would, uh, I mean, if I die, then well, it's because I kinda, I'm kind of bad. That's fine, it happens. But we shouldn't die. That guy is complicated. Don't get me wrong, he's not easy at all. If you are lower level, but at my level, he shouldn't really be that deep. This point, we're just gonna be going up. And let's get ready, cause well, what's coming is fire. Hey, if you want to come and run away from me, I wouldn't suggest that you do it like that, okay? You take a tongue and sludge. And then, yep. I always check behind the corridors on the library. Because that's where you have to go. If you try to find your way, like you can walk around and be like, oh yeah, there's nothing here. Oh, okay, I got lost. But no, the reality is that you could have just check behind the stairs and then just go this way keep your health up there will be there will be some of our best friends you guys know them at this point shouldn't be a secret <laughs> they do so much damage that honestly speaking it scares me every time and yeah the first time that i did this i really had to run past him because he wasn't he wasn't a joke he was pretty cool and now we are no 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 we're almost there hello oh my god are you really gonna run away from me okay you get whatever he gives you another organic material from the top of that chair as always soul strolls giving you items that you probably don't need at this point but that's fine and then over here, you go behind it, and you will go all the way to the top, finding another one of the bongas. Not a problem to kill. This whole section is really weird, the way it moves. And then from here, you need to trigger 
before going into the middle platform, don't even touch it, you need to come here and trigger this platform. Do you guys remember the station down below? Well, I'm gonna show you guys. Technomancer Concoction, pretty cool. This is that area that we triggered a while ago and that we were like, oh yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, we, we're gonna we're gonna need this for later on but yeah don't you dare go in the middle unless you have triggered this already or unless you have put a homunculus otherwise you guys know what's gonna happen bad things are gonna happen i'm not sure if there's an enemy here waiting for us i don't think so but who knows yep. and there you go you triggered it out just to show you guys this is where we kill that where we kill that red knight and if you exit and go straight you will pretty much find the homunculus now from here we can go all the way to the top one and again and it's time to finish the asylum just like i told you guys the asylum not too difficult let's remove the mirage because we don't need it and if we die we are closer to this area by using the homunculus anyways I'm gonna start this fight with a bow and arrow. Let's always check your stats to make sure that you have everything. We have a couple of Jagger Concoctions. I'm actually gonna use one, equipping it on belt number four. Again, this enemy is not a joke. He, 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 could, he could be pretty strong. Pretty cool fight for you guys to, do, to, to learn how to fight him. And I'll let you guys see him for a little bit so you guys understand how he works. But yeah. Yep. He should be doing his other stuff. No, look at his moves. Yep, look at that. At this point, the damage that we do to this guy is insane. He should be going up. Wait, did you get buffed? No, he didn't. You did. Look at our crits. Our crits are insane. Okay, go, go, do it. Okay, there you go. We we skipped a couple of phases. That's why you guys are seeing all of these enemies showing up. Oh shit, no, no, no! Oh, ho, 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 that attack! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's disgusting. All right, guys, so here we go again. <laughs> Try to defeat this guy. This time, we're not gonna use the Jagger Potion because I honestly don't want to. Are you gonna do something crazy? Nope. Okay, wait, wait, wait. My skills. Now. The less health we have, though, the more damage we do, so that's actually pretty cool. Oh, no, the, 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 these warnings! Oh, baby! That's nasty. Boom. Dodge. Beautiful. Do it again. Okay, no, no, no. Stay away, stay away. Now, do it again. See, that? those are the moves that I'm talking about. He's gonna try to do the, the jumpy. Oh, shit, 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 shit. No, no, no. Stay away, stay away, stay away. Wow. Ah, as I was, that move right there grabs you and you're pretty much dead. This is what I mean when I say that this guy is not a pushover. He's hard. Now, just kill him. Let's go. <laughs> All right, that was... That was a little bit embarrassing. But with that, we wrap up the Asylum. Now, with the Asylum done, the next thing that we're gonna do is go to the... Well, pretty much the final section of the game. And then we will have a pretty beautiful adventure on that end. So at this point, I'm just gonna say that I hope that you guys are enjoying. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.